Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. In today's card, I'm using the Circle Doodle Background by Simon Says Stamp. It's a really cool circle stamp. And I'm also using some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I'm gonna take this stamp, I'm gonna ink it up with some Versamark ink, and I'm gonna stamp it onto some Canson XL Mixed Media paper. And I've cut this sheet to be about five by seven, just a little larger, so that I can cut it back. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it with some silver. This is a um, Ranger Fine Silver Embossing Powder. And when you do this, it looks kind of like wire, like these things are all wired up. It's really cool. Anyway, so once I get that done, I can start coloring. I'm using violet and turquoise green. I want these circles to each look individual. So I'm just using these two colors randomly on the different circles. And you can see I'm coloring every other stripe with a marker. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want a variation of color. Um, I'm not doing it because I want stripes, although I am gonna get a little bit of a stripe look. But I'm gonna do this on all of the turquoise circles. So I've just sort of randomly selected which ones are gonna be turquoise. And then I'm gonna apply water to all of these. So I'm using my set of Ranger Artist brushes. I'm using brush number four, which is fairly small. And I've got my jar of water off to the side here. And you can see my stripes are kind of messy because it really doesn't matter where the color is. I'm just trying to get thick color in some places and thin color in other places so that I get some dark, some light, and I'm just pulling the water and just uh, brushing it all in. I'm gonna speed this up here. And I'm just being careful to stay within those circles so I can kind of overlap these circles of the same color with the water, it's no big deal. But I do wanna stay in these circles and keep the other ones dry. So I'm gonna cover all of these blues and you can see I'm not really brushing in circles, I'm just tapping the water all over the circle. And when I'm done with my blue, I'm gonna let this dry before I move on to the next one, which is violet. And I'm gonna do the same thing with whatever circles are left. I'm gonna uh, color every other stripe until I finish whatever's left. And then I'll take my brush, I'm gonna tap in that water again. I'm gonna speed this up and you can see now that the blue has dried. You could see a little bit of a stripe, but there's a lot of variation in color so it doesn't look like one massive amount of blue. So you can see also I'm being careful to stay within the lines of the purple, but because I've let the blue dry, it's not gonna to cause too much of an issue. If the blue is still, still wet, then you could get some bleeding over. But since I let it dry, it's not gonna really be a problem. So I'm gonna finish coloring all these circles and then I'm gonna let this dry again before I move on to the next step. The next step is gonna individualize these circles even more. This circle right here is my topmost circle. And so I'm gonna start with this, I'm gonna work my way downward, if you will, toward the bottom most circle. I'm using my Zig Black marker now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline this topmost circle. I'm drawing a very thin line around the whole thing. Um, and you wanna be careful not to get too thick because then you'll get too much black. And this black is very, very strong and potent. Uh, so I'm just gonna draw a thin line. You can see that I'm getting a little dot right there of black outside the circle. I tried to wipe it up, but it was already dry, but it's no big deal because it'll just blend in with the rest. All right, so I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna put a little bit of water on this. And this is the key is you just want a little bit of water. So I'm gonna constantly wipe my brush onto this tissue. And pretty much every time I dip the water, uh, dip the brush into my water, I'm gonna wipe it on the tissue first because it's better to start with not enough water than to start with too much water. Um, because what, if you put too much water here and it starts to bleed outward, then you're gonna get some out of control black that's gonna cover. And maybe that's the kind of look that you want. And it's sort of the look that I got the first time that I did this because I put a little bit too much water, but I prefer it to be just a little bit of a shadow rather than a really thick shadow. So as you can see, I'm gonna go around all of the topmost circles. I'm gonna work my way downward. And so wherever one circle is on top of another, that's where I'm going to draw my line and take my brush and blend it with the water. If you don't feel comfortable working with this really dark color, then you could put some on your craft mat using the pen directly to the craft mat, and then with a wet brush, pick it up off the craft mat and put it onto your um, cardstock. 
Now you won't get as dark of an inside line as you would get doing it this way because you can see I'm moving from the outside sort of toward the inside and moving that black around but you can see I've got a little bit of water staining here and if I get that I'm just going to get that water on my brush and just blend it out so I've got it here so I'm keeping an eye on things to make sure I don't get too much of a water stain because I want a really kind of smooth look. I'm going to keep going here for about another minute. I'm going to speed it up and I'll turn up the music so uh, you can watch it kind of all come together. All right, that completes the coloring and I'm gonna let that dry completely. My sentiment is from the Avery L All Squared Up and uh, I chose this one because it could be in a circle pretty easily. I just stamped it with some Hero Hues black ink and I'm gonna punch it with a one and three eighths of an inch punch by Stampin' Up. And then I'm gonna take my trimmed back panel, I just took the best part of it, and I'm gonna adhere it to a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock, that's my card base. And uh, I left a white outline just so it would kind of make it pop a little bit. And then I'm going to take my tape runner, put it on the back of my sentiment, and put it into the middle uh, circle at the bottom. And that is the card for today. So a little bit different than I normally do. It's not quite as clean as my usual style, but um, I kind of like the way it turned out. I hope you do too. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.